Hi lollies, my name is Nico, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we're here because I was lucky enough to find some doll stuff at the thrift store which is a miracle in my town I've been looking for dolls in thrift stores for a year at least and I was only able to find a couple of Barbies with cut hair um, porcelain dolls which scare me to death uh, I found some of them pretty, but the thought that they might be hunted uh, really gives me the chills. Um, I was once lucky enough to find two Reds dolls and a Barbie doll that I got, uh, but that was it. I never found mon anything Monster High, Ever After High, or like anything that I'm truly interested about. Um, but yeah, uh, the stars were by my side and I was able to find two dolls and three uh, CDs, uh, which are another thing that I love to collect. I've recently discovered that. Um, I've always been obsessed with DVDs, so Barbie movies, Monster High movies, Disney movies, movies in general on DVD. Um, but yeah, I'd say let's start. It's not a whole lot of stuff. It's just two dolls and three uh, CDs and one CD isn't even for me, um, but yeah. Okay, so first of all, I was lucky enough to find Briar Beauty in decent enough conditions. She's only missing her ring, her sand brush and diary, and her purse, but it's stuff that I can live without. Uh, she has her bracelet here. Uh, she also has her earrings, her glasses, and she's in pretty good shape. Uh, I did pay 10 euros for her, which is a fair price, I'd say, for adult in these conditions. Um, could I have gotten a better deal? Yes. Am I here to complain? No, because she's great. She has the same hair as me. So, yeah. And I'm really just happy to have her in my collection. Uh, I will have to find a stand for her. Uh, probably one of my Monster High dolls will have to gift uh, a stand to her. But other than that, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, yeah, definitely satisfied with her. Next, I found her. Uh, she's in pretty rough conditions. Um, I'm pretty sure she's missing a uh, earring because I see a earring hole here, but I'm not sure. I do already have her. I do not remember what she has and what she doesn't. She has her vines here at least. She's missing the leg vines. Um, she also has her bracelet and her dress and top thingy. One thing I know for sure she's missing is her very important monster uh, badge she's supposed to have here. Uh, because she's from the uh, music festival line. Um, I'm not sure if I'm keeping her or not, but I got her for three euros, which is great. So either way, I'm happy with her as well. Uh, she will need some TLC, but I love restoring dolls, so that won't be a problem for me. I might bring a video restoring her. Definitely not her, because I'm fixing her as soon as this video ends, because I want to display her ASAP. Um, and she feels nasty in my hands. Um, but other than that, um, you might see a video on her, at least. Uh, but yeah. Next, we finally have the CDs. Uh, this will probably be a pretty quick video, but yeah. Uh, okay, so we have the CD of uh, 101 Dalmatians, uh, or in Italian, La Carica de 101. And I really love the uh, Cruella de Vil song in here. So yeah, I have yet to hear them, uh, but that's another thing I'll do as soon as I'm done with the video, probably while I'm cleaning her up. Uh, so yeah, the 101 Dalmatians uh, CD. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Okay, so this is the CD and here are the tracks. No, just kidding. Uh, Whatever, and it also tells the story of the movie, actually, like it says it here, 
la storia del film, meaning the story of the movie. Uh, next up we have the Alice in Wonderland uh, CD, which once again tells the story. And then uh, there are the, um, the, the songs in a word of my own. Uh, the Unbirthday song, I don't remember. And Painting the Roses Red. Plus, it has the story of Mickey Mouse and the, I don't know, Christmas, uh, whatever. I don't know, I I'm, don't remember how to translate that. Uh, and the Christmas Carol, yeah, Christmas Carol. I literally could not care less about that. I only bought that because of Alice, because I really like the Alice in Wonderland story, but I very much prefer the live action one uh, compared to the yeah. animated movie because that bores me to death. Like I love the story, I love the aesthetic, I hate the way it's told. I literally cannot handle it. Next up we have our last CD of the day, uh, which is the um, Lion King CD, which sings the songs I want to become a king, I don't know how it's called in English. I have watched the um, Lion King many times as a child and I hate it now. Um, and also it sings Akuna Matata, of course. I mean, that's the most iconic song of the movie, as far as I remember. And this one, unfortunately, is broken. I was looking at that when I was in the car with my mom and I found out about that. So I will have to find a new case for this, especially because it's a gift for my friend. And also the disc just fell, but yeah, whatever. And it also tells the story of the movie, of course, and also of Dumbo, as well as um, some songs from the, from the movie. Um, so yeah, this, these were the thrift finds of the day. I'm definitely satisfied. I do want to go back to that thrift store. Um, I just gave it a quick look today. Um, and I found that the dolls, they are actually quite expensive and they don't know how to price them. Uh, because they also had a Raven Queen, which I wasn't able to identify because I was just taking a quick look because it was like 7 p.m. and they closed at 7.30. Um, so yeah, just give a quick peek around. I also didn't have a big budget, so I could only buy this stuff. Also, the three CDs ended up being one euro for the whole thing. I thought it was going to be like a euro each, or like three of these were a euro, which is a steal to me. I was saying that I saw a Raven Queen, a Raven Queen uh, redressed in a Bratilla's outfit, and she was 10 euros, which not worth it useless to say. They also had a Bratz doll, and I think it was a Chloe, but I wasn't able to identify her because I'm not really a Bratz expert. Like, I only know a couple of lines, uh, not to mention I was really quick about it. And I also did see Ari Huntington, but if she's 10 euros, I'm not sure I'm going to get her. I do want to get her because I'm trying to catch up with G2 as well. Um, but yeah, if she's 10 euros, I think that's going to be a bit much for Ari. Um, like, I do not really regret, regret getting her for 10 euros. She's definitely worth it, uh, to me at least, because I wanted, her to her, I wanted her for such a long time. But Ari Huntington is a big no-no. Uh, I do want to go back for that Bratz doll. Um, she was kind of fancy, like candy-themed, like sweet stuff-themed. Um, but still, not sure about who she was. Um, and they also had many Barbie dolls, which I want to take a better look at because I also collect Barbies, even though they're down here dying. Um, but yeah, I also want to see if the prices vary, but as far as I was able to tell, they were all around 10 euros each. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed that next time I go there, they have even better stuff. Um, and that they still have the CDs I'm interested in. But yeah, aside from that, I'm really happy and grateful I was able to find this stuff today. Um, 
let me know if you want a video of me restoring her. I probably will put it out anyways, but it would be great if you commented it. Thank you so, so much for hitting 100 sub subscribers. It was a dream of mine, honestly. I had been waiting for that day for, I don't know, a long time, especially because we were stuck at 96, 97 subscribers. Um, I know it, not, it may not sound like a lot of people, but to me, a hundred people is a whole lot of people. Like, imagine a hundred people in a room looking and what I'm, at what I'm doing and listening to what I'm saying. That's insane to me. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so much, guys, for watching. Um, if you want to see more doll content, uh, subscribe and go check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you next time. Bye.